I will talk about the instrumentation and the imaging guidance for histotripsy. So histotripsy actually requires a special instrumentation. It requires specialized ultrasound transducer with wide bandwidth for generation of microseconds lens pulses. You also require specialized ultrasound transducer to generate really high pressure and typically a large aperture low F number transducer. Uh, correspondingly, specialized driving electronics uh, uh, is needed to generate the short bursts and up to thousands of volts to enable the generation of the microseconds lens pulse at high pressure. So on the right, showing a picture of the large aperture low F number 260 element histotripsy ultrasound array and the specialized eight-channel driving electronics developed by Dr. Tim Hall at the University of Michigan. On the other hand, the boiling histotripsy can be done using conventional clinical and laboratory high food system, the high-intensity focus ultrasound. And here showing uh, pictures of a number of uh, ultrasound transducers uh, developed from University of Washington group, and I want to acknowledge Dr. Vera Kokolova for this. So this picture is showing a clinical ultrasound image guided histotripsy system by histosonics. So here you can see an uh, ultrasound therapy transducer with an uh, ultrasound imager inserted in the middle, and they, they are supported by this uh, robotic arm so that can move the transducer. And within the car, they're driving electronics all in there with software that control everything. So it's a very compact platform. Histotripsy can be monitored and guided by imaging in real time. And it can be guided by ultrasound imaging and MRI. And ultrasound imaging uh, is uh, very commonly used. And the reason is that the cavitation of those bubbles generated can be viewed clearly on ultrasound imaging as a bright hyperacic zone as shown in this video here. So above the arrow here is where the focus is, and you can see that hyperacoic zone showing the bubbles. And right after treatment, you can see this dark spot here, the dark zone. And the dark zone actually is because as you see, uh, mechanically reduces the number and the size of the ultrasound scatters. So another thing that you, if you have noticed just now, Ultrasound pressure was increased from low to high until the cavitation is generated on ultrasound imaging. So this real-time imaging feedback actually can allow us to use the lowest pressure needed to generate cavitation for the treatment and maximize the safety. So right after treatment, histotripsy ablation zones can be visualized clearly both on MRI and on ultrasound. And this allows immediate evaluation of the treatment result. Similarly, boiling histotripsy, the imaging feedback is uh, very similar to the cavitation cloud histotripsy I just talked about. So boiling histotripsy also generates bubbles. And as you can see in this video here, the ultrasound imaging also show a bright zone that showing the bubbles during the treatment. And then right after treatment, as you can see here, the treated zone show as a dark zone or hypoacic zone, demonstrating um, the tissue fractionation. And correspondingly, and this is actually a treatment of uh, excise the canine prostate and human prostate. And as you can see, you can see the corresponding ablation zones, uh, lesions generated with histology showing the acellular debris within the treatment zone. 